YouTube channel and welcome back to another one of my weekly films. This week I've got a Fausti Class LX limited edition. This particular gun was, um, I, I did a lot with Fausties uh, back when they were, came into the UK. They've been coming into the UK for a couple of times over the last 40 years. They came in 40 odd years ago with another company then they went out and then they came in about five to ten years ago um, just and they kind of finished up just after covid faust is a is a family company run by the three sisters and generally they are a company a very high-end brand of a company and they are i would class they are one of the best italian handcrafted guns and machine guns and machine made guns in Italy. They stopped coming into the UK kind of after Covid uh, because when it all got difficult with Brexit and the cost went up they, they basically stopped properly coming into the UK. They still can be got. If anyone is interested in a Fausti if you email contact us at the shooting channel dot uh, I can send you some details if you are interested in Fauci, but generally they don't come in to the UK anymore as a as a company um, until sort of the UK gun trade or the UK has sorted itself out um, importing and exporting. Just the cost is, is a lot of money to get them in. And this specific gun, this class, was actually a limited edition range that they did they retailed at two and a half to three thousand pounds and they did a limited range to re put, replace their their steps into the uk gun market and they they only did within the uk they only did about a hundred of these in the uk and they were a slightly inexpensive fausty they still had hand engraved they were aimed at a game gun. They were very traditional. Hint why it's got an orange traditional um, rubber pad on the back. They, I thought that for the money to get a hand finished gun, I thought them they, um, I thought that they were actually a really, really well made gun for the money because to get a gun with a Prince of Wales stock, they've got slightly high, high in the cone, they built themselves high, they've got sort of grade three, grade four wood on them. Game gun, 28 inch barrels and 30 inch. This particular one is second hand, but it hasn't done, this is absolutely mint, got no marks on it at all. Balance roughly on the hinge pin. Wood to metal finish, absolutely superb. And then they've got Class LX and they've got the hand finished engraving underneath and on the side plates of each side of the gun. Selective safe, safety catch. So they've got everything. Again, you could say it's a very similar style to the Beretta type action. But again, because it's Italian, they are very, very, um, very similar made. It's about seven and a half, eight pounds, so it's not particularly heavy. It's just, I feel it's a really, really well-balanced gun. So uh, I'm just gonna shoot a couple through this just to have a look at the, the balance of the gun and see what it shoots like. The one thing I do like to, when I shoot, I do like to say about the recoil of the gun and how much that recoils. I'm using Ely Select 24 grams. So I'm not using a thumpy cartridge. I'm not using a particularly light cartridge. I'm just an average off the shelf cartridge. So, pull, pull. Again, biggest thing I found first is the pistol grip is quite small. So if you've got small hands, it, it does fit your hand 
nicely if you haven't got massive hands. So that I think is quite a, 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 a nice touch to it. And the Prince of Wales stock is actually quite, quite comfortable in your hand. Paul? Paul? And again, biggest thing I felt that there's barely any recoil to this gun. Even though it hasn't got, it's got a traditional game recoil pa uh, pad on it, hasn't necessarily got a recoil system of a pad on it, um, but it still balances and it's still no recoil really. Paul? Paul? And again, in the hand, the balance of the gun really balances well as it goes up and, and moves to it. And for an Italian gun, it's got quite a nice bit of height in the comb. It's 14 and three quarters um, length stock, but it's got a nice piece of height in the comb. So when you mount the gun, it, you can actually see over the rib and see the clay of the target, what you're looking at. Paul? So there you have it, the Fausti LX limited edition. Please comment below on anything you've seen in this, in this film. Love to hear your thoughts on what you think of this Pacific gun. I hope you've enjoyed this film. I thank you for watching. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.